All right, here we go. Disassembly to show you how everything works here. You got your side charging handle here that does not reciprocate. It locks back when you have an empty bolt. The chamber is empty. First off, the charging handle. It moves, it's locked in, but you can change it from side to side. To change it from side to side, slightly pull back, pull out, and angle. You gotta come out like this to get past these hooks here. To switch it to the other side, all you do is turn it around, again, go in at that angle, if you can find it, there it is. Go in, it locks in place. Now you're you're totally locked in place. You can work your, your bolt. And that way, again, to get it out, slightly back, out, and then the hooking motion. We're gonna put it back on this side because like most good shooters, I am a left-handed and this works perfect for me. This is non-reciprocating, so there is no problems holding it like that. All right. For disassembly, we're going to remove the suppressor here because the barrel will not come out with it on. Next up, it is an upper and a lower, just like an AR. You Remove the two pins. Now, here is your, your lower. Let's get a good look at that. Now this SMG45 came to me with already a little bit over 1,800 rounds through it. I've got it up over 3,000 rounds. As you can see, my hands are already nasty because I have not cleaned it and I don't plan on cleaning it until I start having malfunctions. But I wanted to take it apart here and show you. Now that rear pin holds, there's a, a slot here. If you can see it, where the stock just slides in here and the rear pin is what holds this together. Just slides out like that. You must remove the rear stock. Here's that. There's a little rubber piece back here. The spring here. And here's your bolt. We're going to use the charging handle here. Pull back to get that out of there. And then we're going to remove this. So this whole assembly will come out. Here is your bolt, firing pin, everything. It's filthy. Like I said, not going to clean it until I start having problems. This piece is a rubber type grommet here. Now you can, I do have some different springs that I'm supposed to be testing to see how 450 SMC will work. Um, with this particular spring that, that is the, the stock spring for it, I have fired everything federal H H S H S T, winchester ranger winchester white box seller and billet just fmj uh, lawman spear gold dots um some double tap ammunition and i have not had a single failure yet all right now to get the barrel out there is it looks like there's no screw in there, but there's actually an Allen screw in there, and it's held by some friction material. You'll see there the bolt came loose. It only takes a short turn. The bolt will come loose. Let me see if I can zoom in here so you can see better. I don't know if I can hold it. Anyways, the bolt comes loose. There's a collar right here, this collar. 
you want to turn, keep the collar centered, but turn the barrel. It's really not this hard to do, but it, I'm having a hard time holding it and keeping it in camera. And when you turn that, the barrel to the side like that, your collar comes off. Now, let's zoom back out. You can see that it's tapered here. This taper goes towards the muzzle end where the bullets come out. And then there's a notch back here that goes to the bottom. Remember that when you reassemble. Now, leave your barrel sideways and it will just slide right out. And here's a look, it's an eight and a half inch barrel. This channel right here is where that screw is going in and holding everything in place. To reassemble, keep the barrel sideways. And go right back in. Gotta get it through the bushing down here. All right, we're back in. Take our collar. Make sure we have it aligned right. Barrel sideways, slides over, turn the barrel straight, keep the collar in that position, and it goes right back in there. Now when you're when you're tightening this screw, you can feel it go all the way until it stops. Now when you get there, that's too much. See how the barrel with this delay blowback system should be moving. So all you want is just a very tiny little bit because you want that play. You want it to move like that. It doesn't need to be any more than that. It do, you don't want it tight because it'll affect operation and you don't want it too loose because it'll affect accuracy. So just a hair and then it's perfect. And then your collar can slide up and down. So you want to make sure your collar is down and you can just hold it in place like that. This whole assembly here will slide back in like so. Push this rubber grommet in, slide your stock or your pistol brace, which this is a pistol brace back in. Lock everything back in place with your charging handle. Let's do a function check. Everything works good.